All right, guys, to wrap up today's show, we got the new guy on the team, John Shrek McPhee, and he's gonna be talking about how to judge distance with or without powered optics. Judging distance. I learned a long time ago as a young commando and a sniper about judging distance. And this is something I developed based off of what I was taught in uh, US Army sniper school and uh, Special Forces sniper school. And here's the way this works. I learned really early on in 01, December 01, about human beings. And, and really what I'm talking about is the fact that a human being never stands still for more than two to five seconds. So everything I was taught was dial my dope, look out of my scope, dial my dope, judge the distance, use a laser range finder, do whatever you gotta do, then come back in the scope to find the target. The problem was when you'd come out of the scope and come back into the scope, uh, what would happen is you would lose the target, you'd have to refine the target. And then when you're dealing with high power scopes, uh, they call this getting lost in the scope, is you're gonna have to dial down, reacquire the target, then dial back up on the target. And because human beings don't really stand still that long, um, this is a very hard to do. So if you needed to take quick shots right now that was gonna save you or your teammates' lives, this procedure didn't work. So I had to come up with a way uh, in the field in Afghanistan to kind of figure out what am I looking at and how do I become much quicker at judging distance without having to come out of my scope. So uh, these days, fast forward to these days, and what I see is, as I train snipers around the country and guys that uh, use carbines and military and, and law enforcement, I teach them these simple rules of uh, judging distance. So here's kind of what they are. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down, right, uh, by distance to, to 600 yards. So check this out. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Now I only go to 600 because judging with the naked eye past 600, I'll show you in a second. So at about 100 yards, you can see a face. You can recognize somebody. You can tell what they look like. So at 100 yards, you can see the face. Really simple. 200 yards, you can't recognize a face. You can't see what someone looks like. You can't even tell um, the, any facial features. So at 200 yards, the guy has no face. 300 yards. 300 yards is a little different, right? So I can't see a face because it's past 200. And then what happens is as a person does an action, as they hold a gun or hold a machine gun or anything like that, what happens is you can't see the hands. The hands go away. You see the arms move, you see the gun, but the hands go away. So at 300, you can't see hands. 400 yards. Um, 400 yards, you can't see hands because you know they're past 300. The next thing you look at is the head. The head goes away at 400, so a person no longer has a head at 400 yards. 500, as people walk around, they have uh, light between their legs. So as a person's moving, you can judge how far they are by looking between their legs. And at 500, the light goes away between their legs, so they move, but you no longer see their legs independently. So no light between legs. 600. 600 is where they get really tricky and uh, 600 and I'm, and I'm gonna show you what they look like at 600. Every human being no matter what they look like looks like a fat little triangle at 600 yards. This is what they look like. It's a grain of pepper right so uh, the reason I don't go past this is because if you're looking at a grain of pepper you need to be able to see more know more and do more if you're gonna pass this point but inside of 600 yards with most carbines this is an 85 percent chance of hitting if you just know a little bit right and know your dope so right let me recap a hundred face 200 no face 300 there's no hands 400 there's no longer a head 500, no light between the legs. 600, they look like a fat little triangle. And that's judging distance. I'm John Shrek McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. Check me out at SOB Tactical if you wanna know more information about judging distance.